Welcome to Know and Awaken New Souls Unlimited Potential. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Like today's video if you resonate with today's message and also subscribe to my channel if you've not yet subscribed and also click on the notification bell next to the subscribe button. We get in a lot of every time I put out a post so that you don't miss out on any content I put out here. My whole intention with this channel is to share a bit of soul wisdom and a little bit of soul insight that will inspire you to start thinking and acting differently and also hopefully transform your life in a positive manner. So if you're here, welcome and let's dive in into today's topic, which is all about the nobility of sacrifice. Here's what I've noticed with so many people out here in the world. Not so many people, like some people outside in the world, that they feel that there's this kind of nobleness that comes with sacrifice. These are the people who are constantly giving their time, their energy, their focus, their love, their money towards others because they believe that this is how I'm meant to feel more fulfilled with the world. Now, I'm not here to say that there's anything wrong with that or you're even here to judge you for that because, of course, if you have things in abundance, it's always good to share it out with the people who might be needy and might actually be needing the things that you give to them out here. So I'm not saying there's anything out wrong with generosity. My only point with this video and the kind of attention I want to bring to your awareness is that there are so many people who are comfortable in just being on the receiving end. These are the people who are stuck in that victim kind of mentality where they're like, I cannot get myself out of this situation I'm in. Like, I'm okay with receiving because you are always in that role to always give me whatever I'm lacking. Like, for example, someone who's lost a job and maybe they might have friends who are constantly stepping in to assist them with financial assistance, pay their rent, pay their food and all that. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but here's the thing. If this person now becomes like lax in the fact that they're not even going to bother looking for a job because they know that there's this given person who's always going to have my back in everything that I do, who's always going to support me, guess what? They're always going to be stuck in that kind of victim kind of mindset. And they're never going to do or, or even put any kind of effort in trying to improve themselves because they know they have that one person, which is you, the given one, who's always going to step in to assist no matter what. So my question to you as you have this kind of priority is that you need to get raw and real with yourself in the fact that are you empowering these people you're resisting or are you actually enabling them? Because there's a big difference in that. There's a big difference in those two kind of energies. If you're empowering someone, it means that maybe someone, yes, might be down on their luck today and they really need someone to just step in for that moment, which is completely okay. But if you're enabling this person, it's you actually um, now constantly keeping them in that kind of victim mindset where they don't feel like they need to apply themselves to get themselves outside of that situation. But guess what? By doing that, by enabling this person, you're actually allowing this person to draw from your energy. Now on a soul level, which is the work that I do with the Akashic Records, and I've seen this kind of connection with so many people where you find that, yes, yeah, someone is so given and loves to help people. But in doing so, you're actually allowing these other people to draw from your own soul's vital force energy. We know that everything around us, like we're 99.999% energy and only just a small fraction of matter. So if someone is drawing on your energy, the essence of who you are, all is going to be feeling drained and lacking their energy to do other things in your life. And here's the thing. If someone is also drawing on your energy, guess what? The kind of experiences that you're able to create won't be possible because, of course, you need energy in order to create. So if you're constantly giving your energy away in the form of compassion, in the form of mobility and sacrifice, guess what? You won't have the kind of energy you need to create the kind of experiences that you want for yourself. So if you're watching this and this message is for you, get raw and real with yourself as to whether you're helping someone to empower them or you're helping someone to enable them. And if it's on the latter, which is the enabling point, now going forward, you need to start setting boundaries with people and start learning how to say no. I think the other thing is that people feel like they're so helpless and they don't have a choice that they constantly have to give because that is the role that they've been assigned to by society or their parents or their friends or whoever. 
assign them that role and they feel like they don't have a choice. But guess what? You always have a choice. You always have a choice. And that choice starts with you just learning to say, no, I don't have any more to give. Sorry, this shop is closed. You can no longer take from my energy. I can no longer give you that time and energy that you want because I need it to create the kind of experience that I want for myself. Start setting boundaries with these people or these situations which have been constantly draining you. And if possible, actually sit down and have a conversation with this with this person. If you're feeling uncomfortable about quitting like on this person called Taki, start helping them to figure out their life. Start, you know, setting rules or something that, you know, at the end of the month, I need to see that you've applied for 10 or 15 jobs just to know that you're actually working on getting yourself out of stuck from this situation and not constantly relying on my generosity to keep you, you know, to keep you going. So start having those kind of conversations with people and learn how to say no. Actually say no, I think is the most important thing. Learn to say no. Because by doing that, now you're forcing this person now to sit down and do a reflection on themselves and now start finding solutions for their own problems. Because now you've closed the shop on your end. So now they know that if they don't figure things out, they're on their own. So they're actually going to start taking action to figure themselves out, to figure their life out. So in doing so, you'll actually be empowering this person. Because here's the thing, everyone here is a divine creator of the human experience that we have. Everyone has the ability to get themselves out of dark situations. The minute they set that intention out to the universe, and trust me, you do that, you set that intention out to the universe, the universe is going to rally around you and bring you people and bring you situations that will match that kind of intention, that will help you materialize that intention in your life. So give this person the ability to figure things out on their own. Even though it might seem cold at the beginning, but trust me, in the long run, it's actually going to be so beneficial to this person. So that's the end of my presentation today. I hope you liked today's message. I hope it has inspired you to start thinking differently and hopefully start taking new action or just saying no if you're stuck in that kind of situation. So like today's video if you resonate with today's message. Give me a thumbs up down below just to let me know that you actually resonate with this message. Share this video out with someone that might actually need to share this voice that to them because I love sharing this with them with as so many people as possible out in the world so you'd be helping me fulfill that dream for myself so once again thank you so much for tuning in also um check out down below in the description box the soul realignment reading which is all about hearing this kind of experiences if you've been experiencing this kind of connections in your life um one thing I like to tell you is that once you establish that kind of connection with someone where they're constantly draining you, fine. The saying no is part of the action aspect of it, but you also need to heal it on an energetic level just to really support you in that role so that now from an energetic point of view, you're no longer attracting situations or things that are constantly draining you. So that's my work with the Akashic Records. And if you resonate with that and you like a kind of like energetic healing to support the new actions that you'll be taking going forward, check out the Soul Realignment reading down below. And of course, as always, I'm sending you so much love and so many virtual hugs wherever you're watching this from. And tune in to the next video that I post. And thank you once again. Bye for now.